After the panic macro, we looked at uh, the names of these three uh, these three other app macros that uh, make Rust panic if uh, if there's a problem in uh, in our code. And we have assert, which uh, must return true. And then you have assert eek, and uh, two items inside must uh, equal each other, uh, each other, and assert any uh, not equal, so uh, opposite, so they must not equal each other. And so uh, a simple uh, simple example of that, I uh, let's see, let's delete this first, so it doesn't uh, doesn't get confused. So what we are going to do, hello Faison. So we are going to use uh, Loki here because uh, because I am a fan of Loki, and we are going to compare his name. And uh, so we are going to assert. And by the way, assert means you know I declare you know this is true, and uh, you know if uh, if it's not, then uh, Rust will panic. So I will assert that. Uh, this variable my name is equal to Loki Malfisa. and then uh, we're also going to assert equal and so you uh, you separate it with uh, with commas and so we put these two things in here and I am saying these two things are equal and if they're not then uh, please tell me by crashing and then uh, the last one I will say my name and because it must not be equal we're going to say for some reason this uh, this variable my name must not be Methodates. That's uh, that is bad for our program for some reason. This is like a a bad bad word to have. And so um, so when we run that, it uh, you know nothing happens, which is uh, exactly what we wanted because we don't want it to crash. And that is how those work. Now there is a. Um, we can also put in uh, our own error messages, which is uh, quite nice. So I can, um, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, write a message for uh, for when it crashes, uh, we should say um, name must be Loki, Loki, like that. And uh, also here too, must. Whoops, that's not a B. Must be Loki, Loki. And then over here. This one uh, we're going to say name cannot be Mithridates. So we're just going to, uh, this is the only name that we don't want. And if it happens to be Mithridates, then that's a bad thing. So uh, let's check here. And everything's fine. Now let's change it to the wrong spelling. And it says, uh oh, name must be Loki Lao Faison. So we change that. Let's uh, let's comment this one out so we can uh, we can crash over here. And you know, assert eek is uh, is quite interesting. It gives you uh, instead of just crashing, it says, "Hey, on the left is uh, this thing here, which is Laoki, and then on the right is this, and these are not the same. So that is why it crashed. So assert eek is." Um, and you see it all the time in uh, in documentation, and we're going to see that uh, pretty soon. And you can start to see why it's uh, kind of useful. And then here, now we're going to change it to uh, Mithridates, which is what it must not be. And so uh, there we go. So it crashed and said name must be uh, whoops, not that one. Comment them out. And there we go. So now it's doing the same thing as uh, assert eek, except um, it's saying, hey, left is this, and the right is this, and they're not supposed to be the same. And it gives us this message here. And one other cool thing is you can also do what you do in a print statement. So you can do that, my name, and over here as well, which is Kind of silly because uh, you know my name is the thing that we're checking, but we're just imagining that uh, that we're pulling it in right now. And so there we go. It says uh, you know main panicked at name must be this thing here. Actually, let's say uh, let uh, real name equals. Uh, let's make this a real check. 
and then we'll do this one a little bit wrong and then this will be real name so we want to have this be like a uh, actually you know what let's make this a const let's pretend that it's really uh, really official so const real name um, stir equals Loki love so now it is right whoops this should be capitals right at the top super official and that is what we're going to put in our error messages this name will never change and uh, it has to be just right and there we go so we're pulling in our const and uh, putting in our, in our error message and now it's saying hey it has to be this so that is how those work and um, so I wanted to show you as well why assert eek is so uh, so common and um, I'll give you an example there so let's say uh, my vec equals vec and it's got eight nine and ten and you know the uh, the pop method it uh, it pops something off and it returns a sum of uh, of the last item in a vec so if uh, if I popped uh, if I said like let x equals my vec dot pop then it should return a sum 10 and um, so let's say I want to uh, some write some documentation about this vec here so how how would I show it to uh, show people that that's how the vec works so it's got three items uh, the first time it'll return a 10 a sum 10 the second time it'll return a sum 9 the third time it'll return a sum 8 and then after that it'll return none and you know I could do like uh, for you know item in my vec and then you know print line blah 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 but then uh, then the person reading the documentation will have to you know copy and paste it and then run it themselves and uh, I just want documentation that shows them exactly uh, what uh, what this vec is about so what you do is you do an assert eek and what you do is uh, my vec dot pop sum 10 so you write that and then and you do that there are let's see so the next one should be a nine and the next one should be an eight and then the last one should be a none and we could do one more for good measure because uh if there's nothing in there it'll just keep on returning none and uh let's see if that works uh yeah, that's right it must be mutable so there you go this is my documentation for my vec and uh, when people look at it they see assert eek um, and all the things that it's supposed to do so whenever you see uh, assert eek in documentation it's uh, it's the you know the documentation saying this is what it's going to do when you do this you'll do this you'll get this when you do this you'll get this and then uh, when you're putting this together then you can run it and if you get nothing, then it means that your uh, your assert eeks are uh, are correct, and you can uh, and then other people can read it. And so you can see here's an, another example of uh, documentation with uh, vec, and uh, they have all these assert eeks here. So assert eek len vec dot len and two. So it's saying uh, vec len should give you a two. Uh, item zero should be a one. Blah 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 blah. And all the way down, all these assert eeks are just telling you how it works. And at the end of the day, when you run it, it's uh, you know it'll just not crash, and uh, you know you won't have to run it yourself because uh, the assert eeks are telling you what it's going to do. So that is why you see assert eeks so much in Rust.